one shower. And when you are obedient to God. Church, I don't want to brag on nothing. Because anything in this world can be taken from you like that. There's nothing in this world worth losing your salvation for. Listen, I'm just going to tell you real quick about my bosses at work. When I got hired on there, we about had a meeting in my interview. It was unsafe. Backslid. And they said, let me, let me tell you a little bit about what happened to us. What it was, was they got so caught up into going to church. Come on. That's it. Come on. Yeah. That they, lose, they lost sight of the cross. Amen. They lost sight of why they was going to that building. Amen. 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 Yes. They got so caught up in the activities that the church was having. Uh -huh. And they lost sight of God. The devil can get your mind so distracted. Amen. Come on. Yeah. That's the truth. Was something God. Yeah. That's right. Amen. 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 Yeah. He was putting the things that was going on in that church above God. Mm -hmm. Happened in the church house. Now I've been there four years next month. And next month will make four years that they give their heart back to the Lord. <laughs> Me and him had a meeting a couple weeks ago, and he said, you know what? He said, well, I'll tell you what, it was last week. We hired a new parts guy. We've been kind of working on him a little bit because he's also a backslidden Christian. Backslidden preacher. But he knows. Me and my boss was kind of, kind of, kind of give it to him a little bit. I mean, we, you know, we love him. You're not going to win nobody just beating you down the throat. I've tried that don't work. All I ended up doing is just beating your throat. Yeah. But we was talking to that boy. And I said, you know what? All you gotta do is just cry out to the Lord. Amen. And he's right there. He's right there. Well, me and that boss was talking, and he said, you know, he said, since we got back in church, he said, because the boy that was that's backslidden preacher, he lost sight of the cross because somebody in the church hurt his feelings. He said, I'll tell you what, he said, the church I'm in right now, my boss was telling me, he said, the church I'm in right now, if I was worried about my feelings, he said, I'd have left it all the time. He said, I'm not there for them people. Come on, Amen. 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 He said, no, I still partake in that activity, but I'm not there for the for the activity. He said, I'm not there for the people. He said, I'm not serving no man. He said, I'm serving God. He said, and since I started following God, he said the things that God has blessed me with. I tell you this tonight, I'm going to tell you about my own experience. And when I say my own, I'm talking about our family. You guys don't know, but this church right here is where we decided we was going full-time bluegrass concert.
hip flirting with in the house for two years. And Patty and Lisa got on us hard enough and said, oh, you guys need to do that in church. So we did it here. And God told me, plain as anything, I want you to do full-time ministry.